Hi everyone, my name is Yurai and today I would like to look at Synology Drive. I've been using it for a while, it used to be called Cloud Sync or something like that. But it's essentially your private Dropbox, OneDrive, whatever you want it to be. You can actually synchronize OneDrive, Google Drive within Synology Drive, so you can have everything in one place. Um, but why I've decided to test it or to make this video because I've just got an email that finally Synology is doing syncing on demand. So this is a new feature that came out a couple of days ago. So pretty much what OneDrive has been doing for a while now, even though they stopped for about a year, is that you can say, okay, my files, um, I've got about two terabytes, three, four, whatever in my private drive, but obviously I don't have so much space on my, on my desktop or on my laptop. So you only sync placeholders and then when you access the files or when you need those files, you'll download them on demand. So this is a fantastic feature and I would like to test it. So first things first, we'll, so first of all, this is a, this is a new Synology setup. It's a pretty much a, a blank slide. So if you have these things in place, we might as well skip them. But first thing that I need to do is set up home drive. Okay, so it's located in user, advanced, and then user home. So enable home services. You can also enable recycle bin. So if you delete something, it'll preserve it for time being or until you empty the bin. But Synology Drive has also a um, recycling feature or version feature so we'll use that instead okay we'll go to the package center and install drive awesome that's been completed so let's set it up okay so this is my personal drive but this is the actual console. So you can see the versions from here. And whether we want to index, share any drives, and log delete rules. We can keep the defaults, that's fine. So there's two ways you can upload files. You can upload directly via Synology. So if I go into my file explorer or file station and home, now I've got a drive folder. And if I create a new folder, um, let's say data, then I'll be able to see it here. And I can create a new folder here as well. So you can upload data via multiple ways. So if you have data in your Synology already, then you can just move them into your um, Synology drive. For example, if that's what you love, what you want. Okay, let me upload some data so we can do the test of uh, Synology files on demand. Okay, while my data is being copied, the initial data, let's download Synology Drive for my local machine. So we go to Synology Download Center, find my Synology. Because this is tailored as a business application, you can also download MSI and deploy it via Active Directory to your business if you have more than a few users. Perfect, so this is the first run. Let's minimize this. Start now. Sync task, okay. Actually, I think it's the yes. 
No problem. This is just a warning about self-signing certificate. If you get this and want to get rid of it, just import a certificate from your Synology into your computer so it'll trust it. Okay. So this is the drive that I'm syncing in my home drive. Perfect. And I'll synchronize it to my profile, which is fine. Okay. I don't want to synchronize any local folder. And we are done. You're ready to enjoy Synology Drive. Shareable links. I would have to set that up, but that's fine. You can post syncing. You can get link, yes. And you can see what's been synchronized. Perfect. Okay, so my initial data is probably being still copied and indexed. But let's see if we can get the files on demand. So let's go into sync rules. Sync mode. Enable on demand sync to save space. So it's enabled automatically. Let's see what Synology has to say about it. Okay, this icon indicates that your file and folder is available when online and that does not take space. Okay, so this is a placeholder. This icon indicates that your file folder has been downloaded to a local computer. This icon indicates that the file has been permanently pinned to a local computer. Okay, so it's really just like OneDrive on-demand files. So if I want, I can say, okay, all my Lightroom, my Synology drive, pin local copy permanently. And this will probably not take any space, even though it indicates that it's eight gig, size on disk is zero bytes. Perfect. So this is currently synchronizing. Let's see what speed I'm getting. downloading my images perfect it's already been synchronized that's quite amazing okay let's see if I double click on this Debian file how quickly it'll mount it's 300 megabytes I've got indicator. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. It really is like OneDrive. It's just way, way faster. With OneDrive, it takes a bit of time because it's over the internet. Not all the time you have uh, the best speed. And this is just so much more convenient. And you save so much space. So. I think I'm gonna use this. I love it and hopefully you'll use it too. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.